Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Faraz Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great and today we are going to learn something new in Excel. Before that, I would just like to tell you that I was in Bulgaria last month for Excel Days conference and it was an amazing conference being arranged by IT Training and there were around more than 300 participants from all over the places and it was a great opportunity for me to be there for this conference well i would like to thank boriana boris and the entire xlds team for their warm welcome and their arrangements i also got an opportunity to meet the greatest excel mvps and attend their master classes where you get to learn more inside about excel so thank you all the mvps for sharing your knowledge and it was really a great time being with you guys. My friends, if you would like to join me for the Excel Days conference and the master classes, which will be held in 2019, so you can just stay connected to my channel and as soon as I get an update, I'm going to post it on my channel. So let's begin and see what do we have today. In my previous video, we have seen that how to do the running total in the Power Query. After posting that video, I got many inputs from my subscribers and my friends and they would like to know that how can we do the running total on the Power Query by the group of the data like uh, you would just like to do the running total based on the date or based on the product. So how can we achieve that way? Like I have the product like smartphones and I would like to have the running total by the dates. So each product will have its own running total. So we are going to quickly see that how can we do that in Power Query. Great, so we are going to go to our data now and from table slash ranges, we are going to load the data into the Power Query. Great, the data has been loaded into the Power Query. We are just going to revoke this step and we are just going to change this data type to dates wonderful and of course we should give a nice name running total by product when we expand the queries you can see there are two queries over here it was the last video query where we have done the running total on the entire data set and now in this one we are just going to do the running total on the product so i'm going to select the product okay control and then i'll select the date and i'm going to group by now in the group by the quantity sold will be the sum of the quantity sold okay so we got the quantity sold over here and now we are going to sort it into the ascending order and then the date as well in the ascending order wonderful now the main challenge come here we would like to do the running total on the laptops, on the mobile, on the PlayStation. So we are going to group our data again by products. Okay, and this time I'm going to call it as my data. And we are going to select all rows. Okay, so now this has taken the entire set of my data into a proper table. So as you can see, I'm selecting the table in my data. So I get all the information from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and the quantity being sold. Now we would like to just do the running total on these data. So to do that, just watch the steps carefully. The first thing, we're going to make a duplicate of this query. We're going to rename this query. We can rename as you like it. I would like to call it as FN run group. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to make a custom function. And that custom function, we are just going to apply the steps over here. So I'm just going to select this. I can select any of the table from here. So I would just like to select the laptop one. And I would do the same step what we have done in our previous video. So I'm going to add the index column and again I'm going to add 
the running total by group okay and this time we are going to say list list dot sum open parentheses so list dot range open parentheses again the step what is there the last step was added index and the quantity what are being sold okay so comma zero comma then again the index number and close parentheses so what we are doing again we are so going to use a function list dot sum so whatever is in the list you sum and list that range to that index number so it will follow to that index number and it will sum up the quantities and it will start from the zero then it will go to each index position in this list range bingo we got our answer okay now i'm just going to remove this column we don't need this index number and this data type will be a whole number and all looks good over here now the most important thing which we are going to do now we're going to turn these steps into an m code so we need to go to our advanced editor so in our advanced editor we can see all the steps what are being added we're going to go to that step where we have entered to the laptop table so this was the step where we have entered to the laptop table see it's over here so we are going to delete all the steps from here okay we don't need them anymore and we're going to call this table okay my table and i'm going to i'm going to use equal to and greater than sign which means i'm saying the custom function when i'll select my table it has to go through all the steps but we will have a problem over here when it is called as a laptop so we need to change it to this as my table as well so whatever the table it will be selected it will follow these steps so now we are just going to select ok done now this is the custom function we have built it now again we are going to go to our running tunnel by group by we'll go to add columns we are going to invoke the custom function we're going to give the column name as my data to and we're going to call this custom function and this custom function we wanted to apply on my data because we have wanted to add the steps in this table so we will hit ok boom now we don't got anything over here now if i will jump to this table you got the running total of this group and once you go down again you got the running total so we don't need this column anymore and we are going to expand this column so we don't need the product name we just need the dates and the quantity being sold bingo here you have it my friends the running total of this data so we are going to go to home close and load to we're going to create a connection only wonderful so you can see the custom function is also over here and this is my data what we have turned it into the running total so we're going to load it to this table over here and we'll place it just next to n okay boom exactly what we were looking for wow this is really great so if i'll just select any category like playstation let's see wow we have a running total of 114 
and that's correct you can see 114 let us check the another option smart tv cool and we are going to add some more data show over table so i'm just going to select this and move it to our table range yes the data is into the table range wonderful cross your fingers refresh all boom we have our data over here and we are just going to select the smart tv that's how it looks let's check the sum 238 and we got the value 238 wow that was so easy to get the running total in the power query or the group by of your data so you know now how to do it so you are the champion and the superhero of the excel lab i'll be keeping the soft copy on my facebook group page so you can download this excel file and you can have a look and i'll be keep posting some more amazing power query videos so stay connected to my channel hit to the subscribe button share this video like it Give me your comments on this video and I would love to hear from you. So signing off for the day, your friend Farah Sheikh from FShape Excel Master. See you soon.